Would you pay $9 to spend a day here? I can't think of a person that would. If you've spent some time in Central America like me, you'll know that Costa Rica isn't cheap. But where is the affordable place to go to hot spring? Now this one is the cool pool. Hidden man-made forest, right? Oh, it looks beautiful. I've spent the past year and a half driving my motorcycle through Latin America, living in each country for a minimum of six weeks. This has been one of the most difficult projects I've ever embarked upon, and I really hope you enjoy all this content coming at you now. Hello guys, and welcome back to Generic Expats. Today we find ourselves in Costa Rica. La Fortuna! Which is one of the most common places to visit as a tourist. If you're coming here and you want to check out some beautiful volcanoes, you want to see some different types of animals, some sloths, some different types of monkeys, eat some local food, go check out the volcano like at the Arenal. This is the place to do it. And I'm here actually uh, on my second visit. This time, as you can see, on my motorcycle. This is my first motorcycle introduction as I just recently picked up this gear. And it's actually something my mom brought over when she visited and that was the first time I came here to Arenal. This visit is actually uh, a pretty disappointing visit because I came here initially to do some collab work with a, another content creator I had been chatting with and let's just say that guy missed out on a golden opportunity and uh, yeah so it's time for us to continue on move on and you know let the uh, let the haters hate and uh, do what they want to do so I am just driving through the streets right now of La Fortuna and today I'm going to be taking you to a place that we visited, well, I visited with my mom and my sister when they were here. We spent three nights, I think, here, or two or three nights, and we did a, a bunch of different things. Uh, chocolate tour, a sloth tour, you know, a bunch of different things that the classic tourists on their first trip would do here, and we had a great time, we loved it. And now I'm back on my motorcycle and I'm going to take you to one of the places we visited. Now, another thing that is very common and super popular to do here is go check out the hot springs, right? Termales in, in Spanish. And we weren't sure where to go to because there's there's so many options. There really are so many options in this area. And there's an area where you can go for free which is called the Free Termales, which is in the river actually. So evidently the actual river that flows has different amounts of the hot water that came up from the, from the bottom there. And there's little man-made pools in that, in that river. So my sister wanted to go, so we stopped there. Uh, as we were leaving, we didn't have a lot of time to go to so many places and we stopped just to check it out and it seemed okay. I mean, definitely not as good as the place I'm about to take you to now. So, we are going to what's called Relax. Relax is the name of these hot springs and they are what I would consider, I haven't been to the other ones, but from the extensive research I did, these hot springs are the cheapest option you can have with the best quality. So best value overall. Best value hot spring is called Relax, right? Relax. A funny name in, in English. <laughs> and it's got a slightly sunny day today so far. I mean, it seems about overcast, maybe 30% sunny. And looking ahead, 
you can see what, what is covering the volcano. Now this, on a, a clear day, is going to be completely blue with the actual volcano. All the way up, you can have this great view. And it's totally worth coming to Arenal just to kind of be around the, the volcano. I love just being anywhere near volcanoes and hiking to get really cool viewpoints of volcanoes as well. This one is called the Arenal Volcano. I'm not sure how you pronounce it. In English, maybe Arenal. <laughs> as you can see around us, these are the many different types of excursions you can take while visiting this town, right? It's just literally like endless amounts of different tours you can do. Right up here you see chocolate, coffee, night tour. I mean, we did a night tour in Monte Verde checking out some animals in the cloud forest area and that was fantastic as well so it's totally worth doing once the the one thing to keep in mind is that these tours are not super cheap um, they have similar to US prices so for all my American viewers in the US I mean I haven't been back to live there for so long but from what I remember and from what people tell me that have come down that do live in the, the US they say yes yeah there's some pretty similar prices especially in the um, higher cost kind of luxury restaurants here that you can go enjoy that they have similar prices to back home so that is something to keep into and in, in, keep in mind if, uh, if that's a uh, uh, very important part of your trip is the budgeting as yeah Costa Rica is definitely not the budget friendly part of Latin America it's probably one of the most expensive people are going so slowly here so let's I was gonna pass them no, no time here my mom bought some souvenirs when she, she was here right before going back to Minnesota all right we are a couple minutes away from reaching the relax. We are a couple minutes away from reaching the relax hot springs. And going back to the topic of price, many of the hot springs have a bunch of added parts to it that I think maybe that's one of the reasons why the prices are so much higher is that they offer okay well here is our hot springs package with accommodation or with a buffet or with drink package or blah 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 uh, the, uh, ex uh, the transportation going to and from I, I have a feeling that might be part of the reason why they're more expensive because they offer like really full inclusive type of things uh, whereas this particular hot spring is nine dollars so it's uh, four thousand five hundred colones so just under nine dollars and yeah like I said I came here from all the good reviews on Google I just looked it up on Google and I decided why not you know let's let's check it out see how it is see if the reviews were solid and guess what the reason I'm bringing you there now is for that exact reason it was totally worth it I mean yeah going going to hot springs in other countries is also quite inexpensive whereas here this is by far the most inexpensive choice I think the other ones are like 20 30 40 we saw as high as like 150 I think it was so yeah that's going to be an issue if you are a budget person right budget traveler here we are relax Termalitas. I think it opens at 9 and it is 9.25 so we have to see what's going on here if it is is even open or if I have to return later I think yeah I see some people out here so my guess is that it is open already let me see what we got it's abierto no it's abierto ahí estaciono okay I gotta park in front I guess VIP Right, guys we have made it to the relax <coughs> hot springs princesa is going to take her nap here in front in the vip parking and we're going to go up to the reception pay for what is 
the entrance fee. Bro Chacho, me cobras la entrada porfa a mi tarjeta. Es con chip. ¿Cuánto es? 9 dólares. Eh, no incluye locker, ¿no? ¿Cuánto Regresa. cuesta el locker? Cuesta 2000 colones, pero tienes que dejar un depósito de 5000. Al regresar la llave, yo te regreso 3000 colones. Dale, 3000 colones son 2000 sí, colones, ¿no? O oh, 3. Sí, en dólares serían 10 por depósito, te regreso 6 y te cobro 4. Ah, ok. Muy bien. ¿Todo listo? Gracias. Oh, yeah. Are you planning to travel to or live in Latin America, but your language skills in Spanish are just not where you want them to be? I don't speak Spanish! Here at Generic Languages, we help you improve so that you are ready to be confident and flourish from Mexico all the way down to Argentina. Check out Generic Languages courses for up to a 30% discount on genericsworld.net. All right, guys, let's check out the hot spring here. Uh, I'm not sure if you understood what he mentioned just now. Uh, it was four dollars for the locker and then a ten dollar deposit. Here we have the cold area. I'm not sure about you guys, but I really enjoy having a mix between super hot and super cold. You know, doing the, the thermal shock type of thing. And I like going from the super hot, which is the pool in front, to that super cold. That's the coldest one. I actually didn't even make it to some of these pools when I came here last time because it was so cold. I came here with my mom at night on a Saturday. You know, imagine that Latin America on a Saturday or Sunday. Always super busy and now it is the opposite super relaxed como señoras carioca <laughs> my friend from Rio, Rio de Janeiro she's checking out where she's gonna stay today no smoking here look at this beautiful area I didn't even come here last time so check it out very interesting very cold this is another cold area so and one cool thing about this this hot spring is the seating arrangements that are available. Well, they don't let you do the barbecue, right? You can't cook your meat, but you can bring already prepared food. Well, that's pretty cool. <clears throat> A lot of places they try to maximize on where they're gonna get money from you. This place is not. There's another little pool in the middle. I don't know if that's hot or cold, but there's so much more to this place than what you see now. Let's continue to the other spots. Okay. This is just a cool little hidden man-made forest, right? Oh, it looks beautiful. Would you pay $9 to spend a day here? I can't think of a person that would. <laughs> Talk about value for your money. Coming here with some friends, with some drinks. And here are the palapas, right? The little areas to have food and drinks. I guess there's no more, no more areas of hot spring water going this way. So we have to come back. And then make our way over to the rest of, of the hospital. Here again are some palapas. Places to relax and eat and drink with friends. Cariocas all, all day, all day. Oh, Zambando! Quien sabe sabe. <laughs> all right, she knows how to samba. Dance the samba. This is the hottest pool right here. It's 38, I believe. Yeah, 
38 degrees Celsius. And here it says 38 Celsius, small 20 meter squared pool, maximum 10 people. This is the place to be. What I like doing is I like jumping into this one here and then returning back to where our friend from Rio was Sambandu, was dancing samba. This is another area to get led over to where we just were on the other side. So you have to go through like three different mini pools to make it to that side. This on the weekends actually has a DJ, a person playing music. Um, when I was here with my mom, she she doesn't really drink, so I, I said, hey, why, why not get a drink here and enjoy the, the hot water and, and the bar atmosphere and the daiquiri. She loves the daiquiri, so that's what I bought her. A little daiquiri with, I think, strawberry, and she loved it. I, I guess I should have shown at the beginning, there's areas to change right here and lockers right here if you want to save your stuff and not worry about having anything stolen i have my bike here i have a lock on my bike i'm just going to carry my keys around whereas if you don't have your car or you're worried about getting something wet that's an option this is the last area which is a warmer area not super warmer here but then as you go closer to the that spring that spring has super hot water and it continues with more slides uh, more palapas there are palapas here as well to bring your own food and drinks they're all numbered, so it seems like it's kind of a somewhat organized system. I don't know if it actually is by reservation only or not, but it could be. Here we have the pool, which starts up at the top. I, I know it's there because I took this little pool ride all the way down, and it was, it was a good time. All right, they're not sponsoring this video so I can say this. They have a, an age <laughs> limitation up there. They said, oh, only up to age 25 can you ride, go on this ride, and right? come down on this, on this slide. But I'm like, what? No. I'm gonna do that. And it's super fast, you come flying down. So yeah, that is the full tour of the hot spring here. I'm gonna do some, some swimming for about 30, 45 minutes and then I have to go meet up with Anna, who I'm going to be doing some content with at her organic farm over in Viejo. It's it called Puerto Viejo, some Piquiri or something, I can't remember the name. Guys, if I'm giving you some value, entertainment, fun, resources, information, whatever it is, if you are benefiting from my videos, please hit that like, subscribe, and notification bell. Consider giving me a donation on PayPal or buy me a coffee and I'll see you on the next one. Hasta la próxima.